Hi Library friends, this is Miss Liam from the Huntley Area Public Library. We're back with another fun craft video. Today we're going to be making some ghost garlands. So let's get into the video. Supplies you need for today's craft. You're going to need a lot of yarn. So you can have different colored yarn. It can be ghost colors or it can be the color of your room. It can be whatever colors you would like. Then you're going to need a book. I just grabbed a book that was on our shelf. And then if you want to decorate your ghost, you're going to need some googly eyes. Oh, and you need scissors. So first what you're going to do is find the end of your yarn. And you're going to wrap the book, wrap the yarn around the book a lot. So. And depending on how big you want the ghost to be, that's the amount of times you want to wrap your yarn around your book. I'm getting close to the end of my yarn ball. So I normally wrap it it doesn't matter the count that you wrap it, it's just the, I kind of measure by the size or how it looks to see if I want to wrap it around more. I think that should be good. So let me show you guys. So I kind of wrapped it that thick. It's pretty thick. So now what you're going to do is cut it. And then you're going to want to flip it over to the opposite side. So you do want to make sure that you end the yarn on the side that you started. So we're going to flip it to the other side. You're going to cut a piece of yarn, probably about a little bit sizer, <laughs> sorry, a little bit bigger than the size of your book. And then you're going to scoot the yarn here. Let me show you. You see my finger? I just dug my finger through all the yarn and I'm just going to grab the yarn with my finger, hopefully, and then pull it through just like that. And you want to do it in the middle of the front side. Because we want our ghost to be even, right? So you're just going to tie that normally, just like that. And then you want to grab another piece of yarn, probably the same length, if not a little bit bigger. And then you're going to want to cut this side in half. So if you want to make sure that it's in line, you're going to figure out where the half point of this yarn in the back is, and you're just going to cut it. You might need your parents' help because this is a little bit harder than just cutting paper. So then you're going to put your book and your scissors to the side. And then you're going to grab that, the shorter yarn that you tied at the top. So you'll be able to tell which yarn that is that you tied. You're going to grab the two pieces. You're going to hold that with one finger and then comb it, I mean with one hand, and then comb the yarn around with your other hand. So it kind of looks like that. And then all your little small pieces, if you have any, will fall out. So you can just throw those away. And then you kind of want to smooth it. Then you're going to want to place your yarn, your second cut yarn on the table 
And then you're gonna kind of place it where you want the head to end off. So I want it to end off there. And then again, you're just gonna tie it like normal. If you have an elastic band, that'll work too, or you can just use the same yarn. Okay, you're gonna tie it off, and then you're gonna like brush the one that's pointed down, down. You're gonna brush the one that's pointed down and then with the one that's up, aimed up, you're just gonna wanna stick that in the head somewhere. So just stuff it in the head and then kind of readjust the head. And then now you can't even see where that. And then you're gonna play around with it to however you want it to be. And this is where it gets creative on however you want it to be. So once you have the string tied on, you can adjust the where the head cuts off. So you can adjust it to the size of your eyeballs. You can make it smaller, you can make it bigger. You could even put like a small um, sphere or like a foam sphere inside of it if you want. Um, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Then we're gonna grab our eyeballs. These are perfect. And then these eyeballs, they're adhesive eyeballs, so they have stickies on the back side of it. So all I'm gonna do is just stick it on. And there you go, you got your ghost. Now you could get smaller eyes, which I kinda think I should've probably grabbed some smaller eyes, but that's okay. You could, if your eyes are a little bit bigger, you can just make the head a little bit bigger as well. So, kinda like that. So I have the garlands hanging up on the desk. You can hang it in your room. So we're gonna put the gray one right about here. So we're gonna keep to the pattern. So it's tan, blue, gray, then tan, blue, and then gray. So you're gonna grab your um, little ghost. You're gonna tie it once. At least this is how I hang it. So you're gonna tie it once. After you tie it once, you wanna tie it again when the string is through it. So it kinda of hangs like that. And then you can cut off the little end piece. Just like that. Our ghost wants to turn and dance. So like that. Try it at home and show us how your hanging ghosts turned out and where you put them. Thanks for watching. Make sure you log on to HuntleyLibrary.org for all your digital content you have access to with your library card. And don't forget to like and subscribe down below to get more fun videos from the library. And we'll see you at the library soon. Bye!